Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at null in MySQL. That's N-U-L-L, null. So null is a special value that means that a field in your table doesn't have any value. If we look at the table we've got now, the users table, if we do a desk on it, desk users, we see it has two columns and we see in the results grid here that they are, they are both allowed to be null. And that's because we created them in the default way, which would allow them normally to be null. So we can do the following, for example, we can say, in, let's actually just bring up a, uh, a query that I already ran here. Um, so let's, let's insert a row into the table. I'll give it an ID of two, but for the username, I'll specify null. And that means that for the username, there's not gonna be any value for this row. So I'm gonna insert that. And yes, it went okay, we can see down here. And I'll do a select and run that. So now we can see we've got a row with the ID of two, but I set the username to null, it has no value. We can do the same thing with the other column as well, because that's also allowed to be null. And we could even if we wanted, make them both null like this. And now if we do a select star from users, we see we've got a row with two null values in it. Now, often you don't want that. Often what you want is to specify that a particular value in a particular uh, field, it can't be null. So you wanna say that all the values in a certain column can't be null. So we'll look at how to do this. But first let's just take, um, let's try something a little bit different. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another insert into this table Let's try this. And this time in my fields list here, the list of columns, I'm only gonna specify one, one column. So I'm gonna delete username just as a random choice. And I'm gonna specify the value three for that column so we can easily see which, which column it is. So here I'm doing an insert where we're only inserting a value for one particular column. And if I run this and then I do a select star from users, what we see is that we've inserted a row with the ID equal to three. But again, we've got null for the username. Uh, so you don't have to specify all the columns when you do an insert. If you've got columns that are allowed to be null, which they are if you create them in a default way, you don't have to specify those columns when you do an insert. And then the value will be null. It will have no value for the row that you inserted. Sometimes we wanna, as I say, we wanna say that um, values in a column can't be null. This is really common. Uh, it's probably the, the most frequent case because um, often we don't want data with sort of missing values in our database. Let's drop this table, let's say drop table users. So that's gonna delete the table and the table should be gone. We can check with show tables if we like. And we see there's no tables in this database. And let's recreate it, so I'm gonna say uh, create table users. Let's say ID, um, we'll just use the same as before. ID is going to be an int and let's make a username field which is going to be text, a username column I should say. So if we create a table like this, both of the columns are allowed to be null but we can put not null after any column to say that it can't be null. So you can do that on any of the columns that you want to not be null. Let's, uh, let's try it with, let's try it with both of them, I think. We'll make both of the columns not null. And then if we do a desk users, we see that now they're not allowed to be null. So now if I try doing stuff like, let's bring up an insert here. Um, so I, let's try, well, we'll try this, let's just run this. This is gonna give an error. We can't insert null values for either of, the, either of these columns now, even if I specify an ID, because I said also username not null when I created the table. This went wrong because even the username by itself can't be null. So again, we get an error down here. Now it's interesting to see what happens if you insert um, a, if you try to insert a row in a table with fields that are not allowed to be null, but then you don't mention those names in your insert. So let's try it. 
I'll, I will try getting rid of username here and I'll try to insert a row with the ID of nine. Now, if I run this on this particular version of MySQL uh, configured the way it is, what I find is that I get a warning icon down here. And if I do now a, so it's not an error that SQL has run, it's just giving me a warning. If I do select star from users, we see that what's happened is we did insert the row. The username appears to be blank. So the username is, is not null, it does have a value, but this value is actually a blank string. Uh, that's the default value for a text type. I'm calling it a string because this is kind of a technical lingo for some characters, you know, a piece of text, we call it a string. So the default value for a text type is, is, a, is a blank string, a string of zero length, which is not the same as null. If you try this on your database, you might find that you get different results. And we're gonna talk about that a bit in the next tutorial. Let's just try this again. So this time, what I'll do is I will try missing out the ID in the field list and just specify username, which I'll set to um, someone. I don't know, can't think of a name. Let's, let's just run this. So now again, we've got a warning icon down there at the bottom in the output um, pane. And if we try doing a select, now we see that we've inserted a value, we've inserted a row where the username is someone as, as I specified. And again, ID has the default value for its type. And since ID is an int, it, uh, the default value for an int is zero. Now this, this behavior, you might get different behavior with your version of MySQL or it might be just that you, if someone else installed it, especially, or if, if the MySQL developers decide to change the default options, you might find that you can't do this, that it won't let you uh, not specify a value in an insert when the, when the value is, we've said it's not null when we create a table. And we're gonna look in the next tutorial at some configuration options that affect this. So uh, to practice this, um, certainly give this a go. Try creating a table with two or more columns and make some or even all of them not null. And then try doing inserts in there. Try inserting, explicitly inserting null values as I did near the beginning of the tutorial. And try also just missing those fields out of your field list in your insert statement. Um, and miss, miss them out. So try to insert a row where you're only specifying, specifying values for certain columns and see what results you get with not null fields. Does MySQL insert a default uh, value for a field that you haven't specified a value for? Or does it do something else? Does it throw an error? Do have a go at that. And then in the next tutorial, we'll look at some config options. So until next time, happy coding.